Hi everyone and welcome to this Playwright Python series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn about the Playwright built-in locator. So let's begin. As an automation tester, when we are automating the web applications, so the first thing we need to do is that we need to locate the elements. Here, element means the buttons, links, the fields you see on the web applications. Now, in order to locate them, we need locators. In Playwright, we have few built-in locators like page dot get by role get by text, get by label, placeholder, alternate text, title, and by the test ID. Now, get by rule means that we can locate the element by explicit or implicit accessibility attribute. So, accessibility attribute can be a button. Okay. And text means that we can locate that particular element by the text content. Then we have a label. This means that we can locate a form control by associated labels text. Then we have a placeholder. Then again, we have if we have an attribute like a placeholder, we can locate that element using a placeholder. Then we have an alternate text. Usually, you will have the image, and images have the alternate text. So we can locate those images by using the altered text. And then we have a title, so we can locate the element by its title attribute and finally we have the test id so basically to locate an element based on its data dash test id attribute so this needs to be configured right this is not a built-in so now what we'll do is that let's go to the on hrm website and see this practically now this is on hrm demo website and it contains basically a login functionality you need to provide the username password then click on the login right and they have provided the valid username and password so username is basically admin and password is admin123 now when we will be writing the script so basically we need to locate these elements like we need to locate this field provide the text then again locate this field provide the text and then click on this login button in order to log into the system right so let's uh, go to the pycharm over here and let me create another file on the test folder so simply go to the new go to the python file and test underscore login now uh what i lose that let me copy these basic lines of code from here and paste it over here and the first thing is that we need to change the urls okay so uh let's go back and it's the url Copy this one, go back here and just provide this URL over here. We don't need uh, this one as of now. Now, once you will write this code, this means that as soon as I run this script, so basically it will navigate to OrangeHRM demo website. Okay. And after that, I need to locate the elements. Okay. So uh, let's go here. And you see that if I right click on this one, click on inspect. Now you see that this particular field has a placeholder and the value is username. So we can locate this element using this placeholder. Now the point which you need to remember is that we need to identify the element uniquely. Uniquely means that if means that no other element have these attributes as what happens is that when you execute your script your script will get confused and because with the same you know locator it was able to find multiple elements and it might click on type on some other field okay now it is also it is not necessary that you will be using the placeholder or the by role so whatever is available which makes it unique you should use that okay now if we have a placeholder over here and placeholder was basically a username so copy this one and here simply we need to say page dot get and get by placeholder okay and the placeholder is basically the user name which we copied and once we have identified it, so what we need to do is that we need to type. So in Playwright, if you want to type something, so we have a method called fill. 
and fill with the username so username is basically admin and similarly let me copy this line of code and paste it over here and go back to the website and again if i inspect this password so you see that we have a placeholder known as password so copy this one and paste over here and the password is basically admin123 now uh, what we need to do is that we need to click on a login button so button here we can use the get by rule as well so simply button is a rule so basically dot get by rule and the role is basically button and the name of button is equals to then in double quotes uh, let's go back here just inspect this login button and here you see that this is a button and we have this login right so this is the name of the button so copy this one and paste it over here now once you have identified or located the element so on button what we need to do we need to click okay now what i lose that uh, after login i just put some weight so so that we can see the execution okay so page dot wait for timeout and i'm giving five seconds so five thousand means that we are giving in the milliseconds so five thousand means initially is actually being with basically a five seconds over here now in order to run this one simply i will say pi test and name of the test is test underscore login dot py and we need to run this into a headed mode so so that we can see the execution over here so just press enter and it will open the browser and you see that one item collected and it will open the browser and you will see that it will provide username password you see that username password provided and clicked login and now we are successfully logged in into the organization website right now uh, we have other locators as well just like we have a page dot get by title so what i'll do is that let me go back and show you so once we logged in so let me copy this is over here copy paste this one click on login and once we are logged in successfully we have this help button so if i inspect this one so you will see that let's inspect this again this login yeah so here you said see that it has an attribute called title so we can use get by title and using the title we can click on this one so just copy this one and go back here and page dot get by title and the title is basically the one which we just copied from there and what we need to do we need to click on this one okay so now uh let's run this again and see if we are successfully able to locate this element or not right so it will go to this website and it will log in successfully and then click on this one so that we can access to the basically a help page so again uh, the execution was quite fast so what i will do is that instead of waiting over here after opening or clicking on this one we should read and see the execution over here okay now uh, once uh, it will log in now you will see that it will actually click on this uh, help button and the help will be open so now you see that this help is being opened successfully this means that we have identified the locator successfully and uniquely now let me uh, remove this one from here and now after login what we need to do is that we have this image so 
we go here and this is the image and image has you see that alt so this is basically an alternative text and if i go here and click on this one you see that we have these options logout about support and change password but before clicking on the logout we need to click on this image okay so let's write a code for this one so simply page dot get by alternate text and the alternate text is basically let's go here and this is the alternate text copy this one go back here provide this one and what we need to do we need to simply click on this one okay now uh let's run this again and see either it will click on this image which is basically a profile picture image after login so provide username password and now you see that it clicked on that image that's why you can see that about support and other options okay and now we have to click on the logout so we we'll go here and go here and inspect this one logout you see that we have a text as logout so i can identify uniquely this logout using this particular text so simply what i'll do is that go here and before the wait simply page dot get by text and we need to provide that text over here and basically when once we provide the text so we need to click on this one and if i go here and inspect this logout so this is a text so simply copy this one and just go back over here and provide this value over here right now our script is ready we are successfully logging into the system and now we'll be logging out from the application and here you observe that we try to use the different built-in locators which is basically get by placeholder get by role alternate tags by text right so we are using all the different built-in locators available here okay so again uh, let's run this one and let's see what happens so it will open the orange channel website it will provide the username password click on login then click on the profile image and click on the logout you see that it successfully locked out the application right so the purpose here is that we need to understand that if we want to look at an element it should be uniquely identified and we need to use on the first priority we should use these built-in locators to you know locate the element uniquely and perform the action so these are the basically the built-in locators which i showed you earlier which are basically placeholder role alternate text so if i open my presentation again so get by role get by text label placeholder then alternate text title and finally test underscore id so basically this needs to be configured by the developers so that's why we cannot see the, the demo over here but pretty much we have covered these built-in locators to uniquely identify the element and perform action on those elements.